right, right now. I'm uh, just taking off the exhaust pipe, which uh, is here. It's going to take a little while to get that off, but uh, hopefully now all the bolts are undone, it should be able to just slide it out from underneath. One of the hardest jobs we had was to get a uh, heat shield off, which was which was down here, right down inside the uh, the actual engine bay. There's a whole network of pipes and uh, wires and tubes and God knows what else. Um, and so we had to take this uh, this heat shield off, which you can see here. And it was one of the hardest jobs to get off because the bolts and uh, everything were very very rusty and the heat from the exhaust didn't make it very easy at all but in the end I managed to uh, prise it up and uh, get to the the bolts underneath which uh, enabled me to undo it so uh, that was one of the hardest jobs that we had so far but uh, working on this engine um, as it is it's very very tight for um, for access well the um, exhaust pipes are nearly off, I mean it's taking a, a lot of time to get the, the actual um, exhaust pipes off but they, uh, they nearly are off. Um, we've just got to undo this, uh, this joint here which is at the back um, is what's holding everything up. Uh, hopefully I should be able to waggle that off, I've soaked it in WD-40 and uh, at the front end I've got to uh, raise the height of the vehicle in order to slide them out uh, through the front hopefully they should be off it's taking an age to get to this point but hopefully we should do it soon well the exhaust pipes are off now so uh, at least that part of the job has been uh, completed to uh, undo the bell housing uh, disconnect the prop shaft etc take the gearbox out so it's a long process but we're making some progress the next stage is to actually get underneath and undo the bolts on the torque converter and which connect to the drive plate once we've got those um, bolts out we should be able to if you're wondering what you're looking at there, that's the uh, flexible coupling on the um, prop shaft. As that's now out. Everything's disconnected on the uh, gearbox. In fact, um, we've actually got everything uh, completely uh, disconnected. Wires, pipes, you name it, we've got it disconnected. And it's now uh, ready to come out. So the next time uh, the next video will be actually with the gearbox out of the uh, car at long last. Um, it's a real mammoth uh, job, only because there's so many things to take off. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. Well, I don't know if you can see that monstrosity over there, but uh, that big monster, the ZF5 HP24, is finally out, sitting on the deck in front of the car there. And uh, if I show you up here, you can see the drive plate and uh, couplings, etc. It's very, very uh, difficult with the all the connections and everything. next step is obviously to strip down the, the transmission and we'll be doing a bit of that pretty shortly.